All right, thank you very much. Well, everyone's talking about Northwestern this week. So how have you kept your guys maybe enjoying the moment but still staying focused on Maryland? Well, it's it's very easy when you know what you have in this league when you come up to your next game. And our guys have been really mature about this conference season. They've taken every step along the way, each game as its own entity. And we know what we have in front of us tonight with Maryland. They're as good as it gets, and especially on the road. And so we know we're going to have to be at our best in order to compete with this team. And you take on the Terps again this this is a fourth straight game without Scotty Lindsay. What are the adjustments you have to continuously make, even with a team that keys on its perimeter so much like Maryland does? Yeah, I mean, for us, our defense has to be our calling card. You know, when you take 16 points a game out of the lineup, uh, our firepower isn't what it is going to be when we have Scotty in there. So we still have enough, but our defense has to carry the day. We have to try to do a great job, you know, making sure teams don't get into the 70s, 80s against us. And it pres Maryland presents a lot of problems with their guards, and we're going to have to do a great job keeping them out of the paint. The X factor for you will be who tonight? Well, I think everybody. You know, I, I think I think obviously with the way Bryant's been playing, you know, there's going to be a heavy emphasis from Maryland to try to take him out of the game. And so I think our supporting cast, Vic Law, uh, Sanjay Lumpkin, Derek Pardon, Gavin Skelly, all those guys are going to have to step up and give us production if we're going to compete tonight. You didn't follow directions. I said singular X factor. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we do appreciate the time. Thank you. Northwestern going for back-to-back -back wins against top 25 opponents.